All right, so we got two major vlog updates. The first major update is exactly what Gio is doing right now. And you can tell she is steam this, cleaning. No, and steaming. She's steaming and steaming because she's mad that our new puppy just peed on this beautiful carpet. I'm not mad at that. What are you mad at? You not closing it off and pretending like this guy is potty trained and not a three month puppy. You just left him free of just. Can you all say three month little... puppy as angry as you can? No. Say it. Say no. three month puppy angry. No. Because you know how cute that just Shut sounded. Up. You know better. Ooh, ooh someone said. <laughs> <laughs> so, as mama said, she is correct. I'm wrong. When I left to go get a haircut, I should not have left Cooper by himself without boarding up the living room. But look at this guy's face. How can you board up the living room when they look like this? Hey, Mia. Mia and Cooper have been getting along so well. They're literally best buds now, which is so cuny. So the story is actually pretty crazy. Hey, Cooper, show everyone your little cuny face first. Cooper. Cooper. Oh, look at this face. Cooper, you big cuny. Oh, you guys are the best. Brother and sister. Yeah, so as you can see, he's a little three month old German Shepherd puppy. We think he's gonna be pretty big. Cause look how big his paws are. His paws are um, Mia's size. And look at that. And he's only three months old. And they just play like that all day. So the story's pretty crazy. Um, as you guys know, We've been saying it for like a year now that taika has been wanting to have puppies, right? Since we haven't had Fawn, Meatloaf, and Briggy since in LA and then since the pandemic hit and we moved to Vegas and then we knew we are going to get another house. We just knew that there was too much movement to have dogs. But you guys know us. We love dogs. Starting with my German Shepherd when I was 15. We had Tyson. Remember him? If you guys have been following us for a long, 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 long time. We had Tyson, Patches. Patches passed away. That's when we got Fawn. Then we had Tyson and and Fawn. And then we had Briggy. And then Tyson passed away. And then we had Meatloaf. And yes. Can I, can I play it here? No. Because I'm talking to him. I'm telling the story of how we got Mr. Cooper. So why do we have this? A giant sandwich? Because that giant sandwich is for them, you crazy bones. Hey, how come you don't have a shirt on? Hey, don't whack him like that. That's not nice. He's a baby. Okay, where was I? Okay, right. So, um, we haven't had a dog in a long time, but you guys know we are a dog family. We love dogs. And especially as Taiko gets older, he realizes we don't have dogs anymore and he wants to have a puppy like a lot of kids do. And so much so that he even had a name picked out already. He was like, I want two puppies, Mia and Cooper. And we're like, those are the cuniest names ever. Um, we'll get a Mia and Cooper. So we've been on the lookout since we moved here because we're finally stable. We're not going to move again. And we kind of have our routine in our life because that's the main thing of bringing pets in your life. You don't want to have an unstable life. Like pets need to be walked in the morning, walked at night. Things need to be predictable for them to be healthy or else they get stressed out from a unstable life. So uh, we've been on the lookout and um, we love Westside German Shepherd Rescue. Go check out the IG, go check out the uh, website. We've adopted Fawn from there. Um, they specialize in German Shepherds. As long as it's like 25% German, they'll do whatever they can to like remove them from high kill shelters and stuff like that. And I love German Shepherds. So that's where we got Fawn from. And uh, we saw Mia pop up and she's part uh, German Shepherd, part Husky. That's when we got Mia. And since we got Mia, it's been like six months now. I've been looking at their Instagram every single day because we need to get Cooper. And for Cooper, um, I wanted like a big, like alpha male, like Tyson and Meatloaf, you know? So I've been waiting. But the, the other thing is, since Tyke is so little, we also want a puppy because we don't want a situation like Meatloaf to happen where he comes with a bunch of trauma. Like he's all cute and, and, and stuff with us. We take him to the dog park. And because we don't know what happened, 
uh, to him in his upbringing and we haven't had a hand in his upbringing he just wants to kill every single dog at the dog park so we don't want anything like that you know we want a dog that has zero trauma that we could raise with taika and won't bite taika most importantly so i've been looking and uh just a few days ago i saw westside german shepherd rescue post a dog named nate and oh he is beautiful so they have their names and then once you adopt the dog you name them your names um, Nate was beautiful. He looked classic German Shepherd. You could tell how big his paws are. And even um, on the Instagram caption, they're like, Nate's going to be a big boy. So we immediately went there to go check out Nate. But then, but then, Nate and me couldn't get along. And we love Nate so much, mainly me, because he's beautiful. And you just looked at his paws. You're like, oh, he's going to be one of those big ass german shepherds that you see at the dog bar like 100 pounds i was oh, i really want to make it work but it just wouldn't work and you can uh, you could tell his energy was too much and even though he was a baby like he was kind of like bullying mia even though he's smaller it's just he has like a lot of energy and you could just see mia like not wanting to play with them and all that and we spent 30 minutes trying all different things uh correcting his behavior the uh, West Side German Shepherd rescue volunteer left just to see if he, that would change the dynamic. We had Taika stop moving, stand on the side, we'd just all be flies on the wall, just change all the different dynamics to see how, how it would play out. And Mia just wasn't having it. So that guy was like, hey, you know what? Um, we do have another puppy. His name is Jagger. And uh, we could see how he uh, interacts with Mia. And at that time, I was like, Oh, okay, I mean, we'll try some anything, you know, because I was I really had my heart set on Nate, but the mature uh, decision and the decision, the better decision for the overall family is to make sure the whole family dynamic is important. You know, like uh, we love Mia and I don't want Mia to like, you know, like not get, get along. Like one of my favorite dynamics, if you watch the old vlogs, is Fawn and Briggy. Like they would just play with each other and their best buds and they're having a great time. And then Meatloaf just sitting in the corner, like just not wanting to deal with them at all, you know? So I wanted a, a Fawn and Briggy type of dynamic. So I was like, oh, Nate's not gonna fit that, that, that vision. So he brings out Jagger and instantly, like they got along so well, they're playing already, they're having a good time. And we're like, oh, this is night and day difference. And Jagger, which we now named uh, Cooper, has the cutest eyes. You can see the whites behind his eyes. And his eyes are these light browns. He has these big brown eyes. Super duper cute. We bring him home. The whole car ride. Not a fuss. Um, let me see if I have a picture. Uh, I'll show you guys a picture. But uh, uh, Cooper and Mia were just laying on each other the entire car ride. Like... They were so cutie and literally like they're like this all day next to each other doing their own thing or either that or laying on each other. You know what's not cutie? What? The hole in my fucking carpet. What hole? You'll see it. That oh. is your offspring. We did. We were so cutie, weren't we? And we came out here to a grumpy old lady. Dude, he bit a freaking hole. He hasn't even been here two days. Look. Look. Thank you, Taika. Thank you for Taika, was that you? Did you do that? No. I don't even like stuff. Are you sure? That's Cooper. He's trying to blame you. Don't let him blame you. Are you sure it's not you? No, I'm putting it as if you can see it. But it looks like the size of your mouth. No way. Don't fall for it, monkey. You didn't do it. That looks like the size of your mouth. No way. Oh, no. 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 Oh, my God. That's not going to work. All right. Finally in a room. I'm in Taika's room, actually. So I can share some cutie stuff with you. This is them in the whole car ride. I'm like, this is the dynamic that we exactly wanted. Look at that. You see how cute that is? Oh, just next to each other. And and it's very rare for dogs to just get along like that, but that's what I'm saying the story's crazy because I'm like, this is awesome. They're either like side by side touching, like that, you see them in the back? They're like, sides always have to touch. They're always hanging out. This is both of them on Mobber's lap. And then today, um, let me see, what the, easy. Today, where's the pictures? Let me see, oops, sorry. My fat fingers slipped and moved things around. Like this is them 
working with mama just in the room together they're freaking the best there's one more picture i wanted to show you because this this picture truly shows how much they like hanging out so they have the whole living room okay to hang out and they decide to just be on each other so yeah now we got a brand new addition to our family his name is cooper our mia and cooper are complete um and he is a uh, three month old i don't know because that's the thing with the shelter i don't know if he's gonna be that big alpha german shepherd that i wanted but he's so freaking cuny i don't really care um and tomorrow we're actually gonna drop him off at the exact same training center that we dropped off mia because we had a really good experience there like mia knows how to sit place um down walk leash uh, leashless uh come to us like he, she knows all these like super dope commands so we want to make sure that um cooper is on the same page and the younger you could send the puppies the better because that's in, still in the imprinting phase but if you guys are looking to get uh pet obedience training even pet um security training they have like fully trained police dogs too go to las vegas canine training and uh mob bear is gonna drop um Cooper off tomorrow and she may or may not vlog it but I wanted to share that with you guys so the other big life CUNY update is we're making progress on our backyard because check it out ba boom look at that this is the start of where things are gonna visually change like crazy so the whole aesthetic um, as you guys seen in the past vlog we're going for modern Mediterranean, which means there's lots of whites and creams and beiges and greens. And um, the pavers that we have, which are these like brick tile looking things, it's more of like a darker maroon tone. So all of this is gonna get ripped out and it's gonna be replaced with these super beautiful like cream. <laughs> See Mia, Mia in there, what are you doing in there you crazy lady? Hope you're not eating poo poo. But it's that color right there. You see, right there. See that beautiful cream right there? It's porcelain. So this is gonna be. That's the color. Um, and in the sun, like under direct sun, it looks almost white, like when it's uh, like facing the sky. So that's gonna cover this whole area, which is why they laid out that rope. You see that, like that uh, you can't even see it on the camera, but you see this orange rope? They laid all that out so that um, it's mapped out. And I'm not sure if I showed you this part, but we put the water line tile in. So that's the tile where the water's gonna come up to. So it's already starting to slowly get there. And even that tile that we have on the hot tub, it's like this sparkly, like white, cream, gray hot tub. So everything, like if you look at it, it's going to be that like white tone and it's going to span this whole backyard. Pretty much Mia's colors is the mood board for our backyard. Huh, Mia? Where's your brother? Where's your brother? Here's a good shot of the porcelain. It's going to be called Praia Gray. And they're big, big old slabs. So it's gonna look super nice. And um, I think the phase that they're in right now is, you see all that gravel right there? They're laying out all the gravel so that they can even it out. Cause then there's gonna be turf. So they have to make sure this whole thing is level. And I believe they're gonna pile on a bunch of dirt that way. Cause we're gonna create a little step up here, a little step action. And what's super cool about um, the step action and which is also why I love our dude ace who's the one helping us design our backyard he actually walked like all the perimeter of our backyard and he wanted to like like really take it in and see how we can maximize it and so one of the things that he noticed is from this section of the backyard this is the attention to detail he has from here he says you can actually see the strip and I'm like oh snaps that's something that I didn't even notice. So he's like, if we can see the strip from your backyard, we should set something up. So that's why he's gonna fill all this part up, 
that we can have like a little bonfire, a little like seating area so that we can enjoy the strip from the backyard because people pay big bucks to see it lit up at night, which is super cool. But my favorite view is for sure that this one from the backyard to be able to see the mountains like that is freaking insane. So cool, so peaceful. Look at the red on those rocks. Hello, Cooper. Nice of you to join us. Look at Mia. I love that their colors are almost opposite too. Like Mia is like almost all white and gray. And then Cooper is just this like, looks like someone just colored him with a Sharpie. Oh. Are you going to be a big German Shepherd or are you going to stay that size? I hope you're a big fella. Like your predecessors. Like Tyson and Meatloaf. This place is going to be so fun. We're going to have so many fun activities over here. Like that's going to be the turf. And it's all the porcelains over here. And then, oh actually we're going to put a gym over there. So we're going to move the gym out of our garage because we realize it's kind of cramped so i actually have a ton of space right here so i was like we don't really use the side yard so what we can do is build an awning so we don't bake in the sun and then build the gym right there i think that's like 15 feet maybe so we could build the gym right there and then that way we can still watch taika play we have a pool everything is slowly coming together one thing i also want to give me a huge props on and this is how I know she's such a good big sister. Day one, when we brought um, Cooper home, he came in, he was thirsty. And the first thing he went was to drink out of the same water bowl that Mia was drinking out of. And Mia was not territorial at all. She just let him. And yeah. And then it's super cutie. And then now he's technically eating out of Mia's dog bowl and Mia doesn't even care. That's a cuny little family. That's so cuny. Yeah, Mia's just letting him eat like a good big sister. Because technically Cooper's dog bowl is right here. But he wasn't hungry earlier, so we made him all his food. Um, through, I think the doctor told us to give him some moist food, so we mixed the moist food in with the, uh, with the kibble. And he wasn't eating it, but for some reason, he likes uh, Mia's food where's that most food the doctor told us to, not the doctor i'm talking about the shelter told us to give him that's how we made it we had to mix it together yeah right here health growth formula for puppies so we just took a, a big lump of that and then mix it with the uh, kibble because i think he's still got little baby teeth so we need him to be able to like digest and eat a little bit something soft a little bit something hard and eventually wean him off of it but <laughs> they're the best. That's them all day. Two little best friends. So mama did a really good job. And you can't even tell they peed, mama. Look at this. I know, that was the best. Whoa, thing. that's crazy. Yeah, it was bright ass yellow. That's one thing. I know I'm acting all grumpy and I'm doing it more so as a bit because I think it's funny, but um, it's expected when you do get a brand new puppy. I know they look super cute. That's Tyka's like seizure medicine, medicine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know it's super cute, but I definitely want to, where's your phone? It's gonna keep going off. Yeah, that's one thing we have, so. I wanna advocate for the pups here, okay? So Tyka takes seizure medicine at 6.45 a.m., 6.45 p.m., and because we know his life depends on it, we have Alarms, multiple, multiple alarms on alarm. multiple phones. But back to the puppy combo. Hold on, look, less than just about 24 hours, and then I wanted you guys to see how smart this guy is. Let's see he comes in. Come inside, Cooper. Cooper, Cooper come inside. <laughs> come inside, Cooper. Cooper, come. Come inside. Come inside, Cooper. Cooper. Come here, Cooper. Cooper. Come inside, Cooper. Koopy. He does it. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. Oh, he, yeah, he, just, he wasn't even trying to come inside. Um, but yeah, like less than 24 hours, 
Um, this guy learned how to come inside and use a doggy door, and he's freaking smart because he's technically still a baby. He's only three months. Yeah, and these things are pretty daunting and scary for a lot of little pups because it slams, it hits you in the face, it makes this really loud noise. But back to the puppy, puppy conversation. Um, if you do decide to get a puppy, I'm always going to say rescue, but if you, whatever. If you do get the puppy, um, just know that it's a lot of fucking work. So I was already expecting it, especially because we just had, I, was, I always want to call her Fawn. <laughs> she does have Fawn energy. She's she very, has Fawn energy. She's very chill. She's like Fawn and Br Briggy put together. Yeah. Um, but because I had Mia, once I got her, I was like, oh, right. Having a puppy is a lot of work because they don't know where to pot. They're not potty trained, so they shit everywhere. Shit and pee. They freaking bite everything. They bark at everything. They cry for everything. They're absolutely lost. It's just expect a newborn fucking baby in your house. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work, but then it's so worth it because it's such a small sliver in time. Honestly, you're probably going to experience it for maybe like the first handful of months. Um, and it, and then like with every passing month, it becomes less and less and less and less and less. They grow up so quick, huh? They grow up so fast. Are you zooming in on my face? Yeah. Um, so, so even with Tyson, I remember like I had him when he was two months and by six months, he was already like almost, almost five feet tall. Like that's how fat, like when he stood up, he was already here. Oh, I hope he can get away from him to get that big. Like that's how fast he grew. So it was, it was just like in a blink in the eye. So it's like we have him for like this size, just for a little bit. Like once we let us uh, send him to training, I know he's already gonna come back, big. like already like a head bigger. And yeah, you know, that's why I'm cherishing this cuny little moment. So look at that guy. Yeah, he's gone tomorrow. Cooper. Coops. He knows his name too. Look at that. Cooper. Cooper. Hey, hi, Cooper. You smart guy. Mia wants to smoke. Hi, Mia. You see, like that. Come inside, Cooper. Oh, Cooper. Come, Cooper. Come, Cooper. Hey, come, come here, here, Cooper. Come on, Cooper. Come inside. Come, Cooper. Cooper. Oh, he sat down. No, I don't even think he wants to come inside. Hi. Come inside, Cooper. Cooper. Hi. Cooper, you want to come inside? Okay. No, I don't think so. I think he likes being outside. Hugs. Now he's chasing a leaf. But what about <laughs> this? Cutie girl, you're the best big sister ever. Oh, she had her eyes closed, she you know did? that? Yeah, she had her eyes closed. Like, yeah, right now her eyes are closed. She's enjoying it so much. Oh my god. That's the freaking best. You're the best. She has her eyes closed. Oh, my favorite girl. Okay, so this bitch complained about me leaving oh the dog god. by himself. Look what this, tell them the truth. <laughs> so, Taika wanted hot dogs for dinner. So I'm like, alright, fine, I'll give you hot dogs. We never get it. So, I had everything in the fridge, or so I thought. I pull out the bread. Because you I just came back from the grocery store. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm looking for the hot dogs, and I'm trying to find the wieners or whatever. The wieners are right here. <laughs> um, <laughs> turn the fucking camera off. Turn what? I'm off camera. <laughs> so fucking weird. Okay, so I'm like, am I going crazy? Can you please help me, Papa? Because sometimes you're looking in a rush that it could be right in front of your face, but then you don't see it, right? Yeah. He looked, can't find it. Couldn't find it at all. And we're looking all over the fucking house. I'm like, what the fuck did I do with it? And he's checking in the freezer inside the garage. I'm like, what the fuck? So I start digging through the trash because I'm throwing around. Because uh, I was like, you know, sometimes if I'm really absent-minded, I actually throw things away and I'm like, Maybe you did too. Okay, so I'm digging through the dirt. Sure enough, I threw away the bacon that I was like, I'm gonna wrap it in bacon. And you were gonna use that as an ingredient. You threw it away. Yeah, I think and I you threw that away too. I don't know. Oh I'm my a mess. God. I'm sorry. I need help. See, that's why Look you can never. Look at how cute he is. I know he's just laying and floating on top of the bed. I don't think that bed's gonna hang on for much longer. Did he just fall asleep on me? He's gonna be so big. I think he just fell asleep on me. Yeah, he's Alright guys, so this is what I was talking about in terms of the view of the strip, except it's from the backyard. I'm in the front yard because I just uh, walk the dogs right now, but check it out. Isn't that beautiful? So it's so cool that um, Ace, the designer, had like such attention to detail that he was scoping out every square inch of the backyard and he was able to like like see that oh wow we could see the strip from your backyard too so he wanted to make sure that like we maximized 
and utilize as much as we could and, and bring in the surrounding city and area into the backyard which is freaking amazing so those are our two biggest life updates just wanted to capture it and not only to share with you but to keep as memories for ourselves and uh, I'm gonna go to sleep good night